what I need glue for. Let's stuff it in the bag, why not? Doesn't seem like uh, I'm gonna be making too many friends out here, but you never know, huh? Here's another one. What you wanna do then? Come on. There you go. Get it in, little boy. Hey. Another slab of radiated disgustingness to shove down my gullet should I need it. But I would have to find a place to do so, you see. I suppose this is safe enough. Ah. I'm not really liking this. Not none too much. I was raised to be fearless, you see. Raised to be a warrior, as it were. To live for the family, to die for the family. And uh, I don't know if this is dying for the family, but this is the first time I've actually felt like I was living. You know what I'm saying? So we're out here trying to do the thing. Look at this giant water pipe. You don't see none of this shit in New Vegas. Mr. House keeps that prim and proper. Hey, look, look there. This is an NCR trooper. Are you my dad? Hey! Hey! Fucko! Talking to you! When I got this assignment, I was hoping there'd be more gambling. More well, gambling? Stop by Gamora! Give us some of your money. <laughs> ah. So while I can't say that I've uh, ever really been a fan of Gamora or the people that are in charge therein, they are the only family that I've known. The only somewhat friends that I've had. And Joanna, for all her trespasses, has been somewhat of a good mother. Hey, she fucking got me this far, didn't she? That's saying something. These days, a lot of people drop dead before they're 10. Can't afford medicine. Get off by a mole rat, something like that. Taken off into the desert. Never seen again. Heard a lot of stories like that. We'll solve this. Their flag's making me a little bit nervous. I could pick some pick some flowers. Pretty flowers. <laughs> Smells pretty. Like like petunia. I don't really know nothing Hello. about flowers. Hello. Business here. I'm not sure. What's your business here? You damn close to New Vegas, I'll tell you that. Hmm. Maybe the NCR trying to make a move. I'll tell you this. Like I said, the walls got eyes, the walls got ears. And I know that uh, Big Papa Nero is gonna make a move on New Vegas with Caesar's Legion. Now, uh, if you tell him that, don't tell him you heard it from me. Or old Nick ain't gonna be seeing tomorrow, you know what I'm saying? Hmm. Hello. Hello there. Not very often we see civilians on base. What's your story? Just in from Gamora, you know, uh, stretching my legs for the first time as it were. First time off the strip and uh, I'm finding it pretty rough. I almost got my ass chewed open by a couple more rats. But it's nothing compared to last week, you know. Had a couple of uh, commanding officers in there chewing another kind of hole in my ass, you know what I mean? <laughs> Ah, uh, but at least they had the caps to pay for it. Yeah, they're pretty good guys, you know, I can't give any names, you know. Uh, prostitute, client, privilege, and whatnot. Ah, it's just the life I was born into, but tell me. Gorgeous, how did you, how did you end up in the army? Why would you, why would you put that pretty face in combat to get blown open, huh? I guess I wanted to make something of myself, you know? Be the best of the best. I wanted to be a ranger, but guess this is as close as I get. Well, you seem kind of depressed about that. Well, don't worry. I'm sure you'll make it one day. You've got a head start on me. How long you been in the army? Five, ten years? Something like that? So, uh, don't, don't sweat it too much. We both want to make something of ourselves. We're both going about it in a different way. So tell me a little about yourself. Not much to tell, really. I grew up in New Reno, joined up, took my shot at being a ranger, didn't make it, so I'm stuck with this crew of jokers. Fair enough. 
Why didn't you make it into the Rangers if I could ask? Gee, I don't know. Maybe because I'm saddled with the worst damn unit in the NCR army. Think that might have something to do with it? Well, you're sounding a little bitter there. What's 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 up what's up with your squad mates? Are you pulling your weight? That's that's the one question I gotta ask you. Yeah. I mean, no. They're okay people, but they don't care, you know? They don't have any ambition, no drive. They're slacking off, and that reflects badly on me. Well, I feel that one, you know. Back in Gamora, surrounded by people with no drive. The only drive they have is to get their next hit a jet. And that's about it. I couldn't I couldn't find myself in that life. You want me to be real honest? But uh compared to being locked up in New Vegas, this place doesn't seem so bad. You want my honest opinion? Please. Camp golf is where they shuffle off anybody they don't want anymore. Assignment here is a career ender. Yep. Camp Golf, they call it, huh? I'm telling you, it's not too bad. A career ender? Are you saying they don't want you anymore? Tell me why you end up assigned here, Easy. huh? This is where they send all the fuck-ups and people they don't want. But hey, it's not like I'm bitter or anything. Not like I'm bitter or anything. I heard that one before. Well, it's lovely to meet you. If you didn't have such a black soul, I think that uh, we could have been good friends. You know? Unfortunately, this is goodbye. Sure, see you around. Just might. Well, at least that's one NCR person willing to open up to me. Maybe you should have asked some about my dad, you know? Hey, you seen any guys around that look like me? Hello there. Howdy. Well, not quite an accent you got there. Well, I, I guess I could say the same about myself. We're from all over, you know? Everybody got kind of mixed up in the last couple hundred years. So, I heard from uh, Miss Mags over there some, some very telling things. Could you tell me a little bit about your squad mates? They're mostly pretty nice. Coindexter showed me how to make fireworks. Perez kind of scares me sometimes, but I don't mind. He's had a hard life. I think we all have. That is something that we could say for every single one of us, my friend. Were you born with a silver spoon in your mouth? Obviously not. You're in the army. Taking bullets, beating boots kind of stuff, right? Tell me a little more about yourself. Your childhood, perhaps. Well, I was born on a farm out in California. Weren't much. Me, Ma, and Pa, my two sisters, and about 40 acres of corn and Brahmin. Didn't ever have no problems, really, except for some lean years. Then I joined up and got shipped out here to New Vegas. Now, if you were destined to be a farmer, you had corn and Brahmin and all the food you could want except for the lean years, why in the hell would you join up in the army? You had a you had a life set out for yourself, you know? With two sisters, who's gonna be the farm? Who's gonna run the farm in the future? Your sisters? I don't think so. Come on, I don't know what you're doing out here, man. How'd you end up here? Be honest with your old friend, Nick. Well, as it turns out, we had a string of bad harvests a few years back. Pa said he couldn't afford to feed but three youngins or we'd starve. As the biggest one, it was my job to go join the army so as my sisters could eat and so as we wouldn't all be killed by raiders and Jesus would love us. It's all right, I guess. I don't like all the fighting we gotta do, though. This, there's that Jesus guy again. See, I told you. He's got his eye on what's going on down here. Of course, the people in Gomorrah call me crazy for, for even attempting to read that book. I think it's the Bible? Something like that? Yeah, there's some good stuff in there. Tell me why you're so afraid of fighting, no. though. I ain't scared. I just don't like hurting folks is all. Ma always used to tell me, boy, you're the biggest and the strongest, so you mind yourself. Every day she told me that. Guess I done took it to heart. Well, your ma sounds like a good lady, you know? I can tell you some things about my ma, but, uh... Like I said, she brought me this far. She ain't so bad. What do you think of Camp Golf? You, you enjoying your time here? It doesn't look like you see much action. Oh, it's a fine place. The lake is real pretty, and we don't get bothered much by them Legion fellers. Yeah, the Legion. I suppose you're a bit too close to New Vegas, but, uh, that'll change with time, I suppose. I didn't say that. Anyways, nice to meet you, friend. Goodbye. Uh, stay safe out there, huh? Toodaloo. Toodaloo. A little light in the boots, isn't he? Well, I suppose I can't judge. I don't know worse things for money, that's for sure. Hello there. Nice hair. Yo. That's pretty cool. 
How'd you get your hair like that? You keep it uh, pretty shaved, huh? You use like a straight razor or something? I got a straight razor. I can show you how to do it real good. Give you a nice close shave. <laughs> Anyways, I've been talking to a couple of your squad mates. I suppose I should uh, get your side of the story. What's up with them? We don't talk too much, mostly. Poindexter's a smart ass prick. Well, Hanrahan's a big pussy. Ain't good for shit in a fight. And Mags? Well, Mags is cut out for something other than soldiering, you dig? Something other than soldiering? I don't know what that's supposed to mean. Uh, you're talking fucking crazy talk. To me, it sounds like a bunch of winners. You know, I, I talk to each one of you, you, you seem like nice people. I just, uh, can't understand why you don't just enjoy your assignment out here. You're sitting on your ass, you're getting paid. Winning, am I right? Whatever. Not like I need any of them. I do just fine on my own. Oh my, well, we got an independent spirit over here. Sounds like they didn't break you down enough in boot camp, huh? So tell me what's your story. Not much to tell. Grew up out west in the boneyard. Heard of it? Yeah, not many people have. Wasn't really a good place for kids, you know. I joined up to get out. My family's still back there. The boneyard? <laughs> I grew up in something of a boneyard myself, friend. Could you tell me anything about Camp Golf? What do you want to know? Old place used to be some kind of rich bastard resort back before the war. Now the rangers use the old resort and we grunts get to live in tents. Fucking typical. Well, if you're able to do all this shit yourself, you should be a ranger, huh? <laughs> I'm just busting your balls, guy. Tell me why you're in the army. What, what are you doing out here, huh? Shit, man, it was this or the fiends. The fiends don't last too long in the NCR. At least this way, the badasses with the top shelf guns are on my side. Badasses with the top shelf guns. You got one of them top shelf guns? I know how, how to shoot just a little bit. My buddy Troy showed me all about it. I should probably crack this up though. I'll let you get back to, uh, uh whatever the fuck it is you're doing over here. Right. Later. Hmm. Poindexter. That's the last guy everybody's talking about. Four people? Ah, uh, patrols must be fucking ass out here, right? One person on patrol? You gotta do a, at least an eight hour patrol. Nobody gets a day off. Good god. Hello there, I see by the glasses you must be Poindexter, huh? I'm assuming you aren't associated with the army or the rangers. What can I do for you? Oh my, somebody sounds fucking posh, right? <laughs> Uh, would you say that you're the one in charge around here, or what? In a strictly official capacity, no. However, as I am by far the most intelligent and resourceful figure on this base, I feel it's safe to say the soldiers here look up to me. I'm sure they do. So, uh, I wonder if anyone else here would share that sentiment. Genius is seldom appreciated in its own time. Genius. What have you done lately, genius? Sit on your big old butt, play with your gun, shine your boots. Your boots don't even look that shiny. Why don't you tell me something about yourself, genius? To what purpose? It's highly unlikely you'd understand anything I'd say. Huh. That's true. True enough. You know, you're so far up your own ass I can hardly hear you. How, the, how does somebody so light in the loafers end up in the army? I see your buddy over there, but he's at least a little bit gruffer than you. You look like you break a nail every time you reload. It's a simple idea. The army offers fiscal security and generous benefits at the cost of substantial personal risk, if you're on the front line. If you perform too poorly, they'll scrub you out. Perform too well, and you get sent to the front lines. All I have to do is ride that mediocrity gradient to a cushy, do-nothing job miles away from the war. Yeah, you're fucking useless. You're never going to be anything with that attitude, friend. You got to take some risks. You got to put yourself out there. That's what old Nick is doing. And I'm sure eventually I'll come back just to laugh in your face. Later, Poindexter. I somehow suspect you'll be back to converse with me later. Oh, yeah. Get my daily fill of bullshit, huh? Huh. <laughs> Dream on. Any of these army tents open? Yeah, nice. What you got around here? Well, you might, uh, suspect 
because I am from Gamora that uh, not much is off limits to me. As long as uh, I'm not stealing from the family, everything's fair game, am I right? There we go. A few bullets. That never hurt nobody. Oh, you got some cue balls here. Sunset sarsaparilla. Oh, somebody's been drinking good over here. Hmm. A little bit parched myself. Could really do with some healing. If you want me to be real honest. Ah. Old Nick's about to keel over. Maybe they got a medical tent, something like that. I could pay for the healing if that's what you're looking for. Hello oh, there. No. What is it now? I'm just looking for some healing. What's your name, fella? How'd you end up at Camp Golf? I've been here since the first push into Vegas. Back in the day, this camp was the hot spot for conflicts with the Legion, Raider tribes, you name it. These days, I spend most of my time trying to beat a little discipline into the soldiers under my command gotten soft with no action soft is uh, definitely the way that I would put it I thought was, this was where they send all the uh, washouts and losers your, your unit out there seems to have no morale you know so maybe I could help uh, beat that back into him as it were especially that little poindexter he looks like a squishy fuck huh so is that true washouts and losers is, is that what I hear yeah well somebody has to wrangle those washouts and losers Somebody's got to turn them into a real fighting force. It sounds like you're more than a little disappointed in the troops out there, huh? Disappointed? We call them the misfits for a reason. They're undisciplined, lazy, and they have absolutely no esprit de corps. The squad leader's got some promise, a kid named Mags. But as for the rest, I don't see much hope. I'm going to make them shape up if it kills me, though. Or them, for that matter. Hmm, fair enough. Maybe old Nick could help you whip him into shape, huh? I, I do enjoy the cut of that Mag's jib. And everybody else seems, uh... Well, you got that Raz fella. He seems a little... Like, uh, he thinks he's a superstar kind of shit. But obviously a superstar would be in the Rangers, right? And then you got the farm boy. He don't want to hurt nobody. Oh, I'll just teach him killing ain't such a bad thing. You know, everybody's got to kill at one time or another. Lord knows Nick's done his share. And then you got that Poindexter. Oh, I can't wait to sink my fucking meat hooks into him. What do you say? You want some help with that? You're welcome to try. Hell, maybe they'll listen to somebody they don't see as an authority figure. Don't see as an authority figure. Not yet, huh? Well, uh, do you enjoy serving in the army? I guess that's the most important thing, right? Do you, do you enjoy your job leading around these washouts and fuck-ups? Man, it's my life. I joined up when I was 16. I don't know how to do anything else. Fair enough. Seems interesting to me that you uh, joined at 16 and you're only a sergeant. I would have thought, you know, you'd be uh, an officer by now. At least a non-commissioned officer. I mean, a higher non-commissioned officer. Isn't sergeant kind of the lowest of the NCOs? If I'm remembering my ranking structure correctly... Uh, let me, let me search the old memory banks. Yeah, you should definitely be a bit higher up in the ranks. Is it because you're stuck in fucking camp golf or something? Yeah, well, I didn't want to get promoted out of the field. I didn't join up to drive a desk. Drive a desk. Hey, McCready, I like you too, you know? Maybe this place got some hope. Alright, I'll see about those, uh, those kids outside. I'll, I'll see you later. Yeah, whatever. Alright, you sound really excited about it too. Awesome, awesome. Oh, we got a couple other people over here driving desks, as they say. They won't go quietly. The Legion can count on that. Ah, uh, I think maybe you got the wrong people driving the desks. All these people out here just uh, seem to be doing the bare minimum. People behind the desk, they talking big. I say put them out in the front, see what happens. What can they do? You know? Suppose I should look around just a little bit more. Maybe I'll find a snack or something. That would be most good. Power fist. Yeah, I ain't never used one of these things before. Well, not for its intended purpose anyways. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? Well, I don't want to talk about it, so... We'll just move right on past that. Uh, plenty of tents over here. I wonder where that mag sleeps. Huh? You just uh, take off your shirt, crawl in the bed kind of thing. 
be a little surprise for later. Glue? What the fuck is this? What I need glue for? I stuff it in the bag, why not? It's free, you know? If it's free, I'll go ahead and load it up. Hmm. Energy weapons book. I ain't never used no energy weapons. That's not to say that I wouldn't. Ah, here's some real fighting gear. I suppose I should help myself to that. They wouldn't want to see their uh, old friend Nick die, would they? I'm not their friend yet, but I will be. Don't you worry about that one. One, two, three, four. Goodbye, goodbye, see you again. Goodbye, goodbye, see you, my friends.